very good against Earthshaker, much like a clockwork. Oh my goodness, Zayats, the poor lad, jumps right into a Fisher. And there's the Nimbus Cloud. They will be able to take it out though quickly. General still barely surviving. And G Not so fast to the high ground. Did he make a mistake here? He's in a lot of trouble, and he will simply suicide. Chronosphere catches two from Crystallize, and nobody from the Navi side is caught in the Chrono. Perfectly placed from Crystallize. They will look to chase down Aloha Dance. No Aegis, no cheese in hand. He's going to do a lot of damage before going down. Echo Slam going to fly through, and a toss-up brings down the Huskar. Big stun on the backside from Zayas. Meanwhile, General and Seneco will take out Slayer. Crystallize one second uh, until time walk. He has a time walk, but just needs to wait for this Mask of Madness to expire. And there it is. General with the double kill on the Earth Shaker. He's TA going to keep him mid alongside the Disruptor. They do not have Static Storm here, but it's up in four seconds. Crystallize jumping forward. It will force out the Ghost Shot. Now General will attack the backline. He hits onto two. Spike Carapace will keep Zayats up for now. Static Storm is decently placed. Uh, and the Reaper Scythe will not kill off Roger just yet. One right click though will do it, but they get the double kill for Dendi before the Death Pulse stacks can kick in. Now up to the high ground, blinks the TA, triple kill. Uh, G does not have an Echo Slam, but he'll jump forward and with an Enchant Tome will take out the Disruptor. Dendi still fighting strong. Has a Refraction in two seconds. And the toss forward, he'll pop it up. Has a Blink Slayer in trouble. Ultra kill for Dendi. Ganker into the arrow, comes out, he's going to have to knock the camera scrolls, but there is going to be a bit of reveal, the hand gun comes out to try and nail him off, but he wants to end it, he's going to be able to secure this kill, undershot coming through from the left, it's going to be the Yule Scepter, it looks like Seneca may be taken down, a lot of eight cells, not just the Echo Slam comes through though, and then Netherworld doing a little bit of work for Chen, already going to be taken down, and now the PA, it's his turn with the Diffusal Blade, the Force Staff comes out, General gets up to the high ground, he's just going to be healed up from that shrine. Crystallize trying to make a move down. The arrow comes through. PA, is he going to be taken down? He does have that cheese, remember, but it's not going to be used in time as gold now. Dual stuff. Undershot still has the edges. The Fisher comes out. And gold being shadow struck. And they're going to be able to find a PA. Um, sorry, the, the Pokemon do find the Aegis. And now with the Orc on top of it, it looks like. Yeah, the TP's come in now and then, it's just going to be Roger moving himself through the ring. Don't, 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 don't be a little bit careful in case there's any gaps. Because he gets the TP himself and now. Roche being attempted, it's been spotted out by the ward. So Nako being stunned up, there's going to be the blood count. The impale comes out onto the tiny ball, but the blood right walking the path. The nether ward doing so. Spike Harper's still in the for the echo. Ultimate still up, it's gonna be a fish one too. No fear, the chain has this bounce too. And the shot can be taken down up. And it just keeps bouncing. They're gonna be able to find four heroes, could be five, if you can chase down the clinks. Clinks still not revealed by any dust anyway. 